Microsoft Ignite 2022 kicked off with some interesting updates around Microsoft Loop. Today we're going to overview what they are and everything you need to know about this latest rollout of features. So if you're new here, please do subscribe and welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It'll be great to have you, so make sure you do jump in below and like this video if you found it useful. So the event kicked off with Judson Althoff, who explained about uncertainty and the fortification of why digital tools are so important. Now, Microsoft Loop has been touted for some time now, and it's pretty impressive what the application can potentially offer. A flexible canvas for you and your team to coordinate work, but they haven't officially launched it. Today, they announced that it's in private preview, meaning customers that have access to it can work on projects collaboratively, getting access to workspaces, pages, and components across 365, but they will not be able to necessarily use it as a public preview. So this means that they will be able to incorporate feedback and develop the application. It wasn't the only thing that Microsoft announced in terms of Loop. They also introduced more Loop components. And these are basically pieces of the puzzle, allowing users to collaborate on the flow of work. And that's been predominantly at the moment in Microsoft Teams, chats, meetings, emails, and documents. But they're expanding this into additional locations, including at the end of the year in the private preview, inserting of polls, checklists, or task list components inside of a Word for Web document. They're also advancing the ability to copy an existing loop component and pasting it into Whiteboard inside of Teams, Web, and Desktop. They're also advancing the polls component type powered by Microsoft Forms. They'll enable users to create surveys, quizzes, and word clouds that stay in sync across Outlook and Web, and a word for Web too. They're also a little bit earlier uh, introducing in November the Q&A ability to connect and enable users to collect answers in real time to questions, which is a great addition. Now, primarily Microsoft Loops got a few updates. They also introduced some new security additions of sensitivity labels and data loss protection prevention. And this is quite interesting because Microsoft have timed this with their new upgraded Microsoft 365 app available for web, Windows, and mobile. And that's aiming to be the home for your favorite tools and basically everything Microsoft 365 in one location. The new application allows you to access, create documents, and all of your files in one space. It also allows you to perform common quick commands, as well as a feed, apps module, and tagging too. This is really interesting because you can see that Microsoft are seemingly trying to make a home base for this to improve the way that they get. This will be rolling out at the start of next month, but Microsoft Loop will still be in private preview by the end of the year, according to some of this information that's on the Book of News page, which I'll link below. Now, in terms of uh, up other updates, Microsoft Teams got an improvement to their premium experience, which is something that a lot of people have been looking forward to having, and they enhanced the context IQ abilities for Microsoft Loop, which helps you to improve how you're using it with the at command across all of the different spaces. Now, in terms of whether you can access my full private preview, right now it's currently in a wait list. So you need to sign up or get looped in of what they say on the homepage, which I will link below, which basically means you'll be on a wait list. And whether you have access or not, depends I guess whether how much interaction you have with Microsoft 365. However, I don't think it will be anytime soon. I'll try and get somebody access to pro access with the private preview. It would be good to see what Microsoft looks like. Microsoft Loop looks like in sort of big sort of picture, but it's interesting to see whether the private that the private preview is continuing to be this available or, or not available till the end of the year and the public preview yet to have an official date. So it'd be really interesting to see some of your thoughts and opinions on what they're doing at Microsoft with Microsoft Loop. Please do share uh, this video below if you found it helpful and I look forward to you diving into more videos here on Keep Productive. Thank you very much folks and I'll talk to you very soon.